Hey everybody, welcome back to my other popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Today we're going to be talking about Knives Out. You know something. Spill it. I suspect foul play. So Knives Out is rated PG-13. It is considered a drama thriller. It is two hours and a ten minutes long. Release date is November 27th on Thanksgiving. It is directed by uh, Ryan Johnson. And as you can tell by the poster and just the general trailers, it has a huge, wonderful cast. I think I can say everybody's names, but I don't want to risk on botching anybody's name. Now, this is directed by Ryan Johnson, who apparently directed The Last Jedi, and apparently it wasn't good. I don't know, I've never seen Star Wars, but now that we have Disney+, Plus, and they're actually there, I'm going to be watching it. But let me know down below, like, were y'all disappointed in that Star Wars like when I whenever I get to that particular one should I just like bypass it I don't know let me know down below so anyway girls let's get back to Knives Out this is a more modern day who done it kind of a film I'm obviously not gonna be giving you guys any actual spoilers just because it takes away from the fun of who actually did it it does say that it's a thriller I didn't find anything really thrilling about it I find it more of a dramatic comedy than anything honestly it does have a lot of uh, comedic moments and I don't think I've ever seen Daniel Craig in something like this I mean obviously when you hear his name you just automatically think 007 and he did a really good job in this I mean it's not like a knee slapper ha 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 moment but the film itself does have a sense of humor he has this ridiculous southern accent that I'm particularly here for I'm not even going to lie about it okay I know I just said I wasn't going to give you guys any spoilers but I mean I guess technically it's not really a spoiler it just involves a donut and the hole of the donut the donut hole and we're gonna leave it with that oh my god when you guys see the movie come back and let me know what you guys thought about that because I thought that was just so funny I think the one that stole the show for me personally was Toni Collette she was just so like just like out there and like free spirited and like even like the way that she like talked I I was here for it I really enjoyed her in this film you know what just the whole damn cast you guys like they did such an amazing job Daniel Craig and Ana de Armas would probably be like the two main characters and I don't think I've ever seen Ana in anything else before I know for a lot of you it might be like that Blade Runner whatever thing I never saw that movie I'm gonna go ahead and sing while one more character his name is Jaden I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce his last name now he is the only one that really doesn't have too much going on i mean the family does like talk about him a lot about him being a douchebag and everything but him personally i think throughout the whole movie he may have like four lines if that but he's more just there he's just on his phone throughout the whole damn movie this movie is just about near perfect you guys and i was totally here for it i enjoyed myself i was entertained throughout the whole deal i suspected everybody so at the end i knew who the killer was because i suspected everybody it's two hours long which i did not feel at all i full-on recommend for you guys to go and see this in theaters it comes out on thanksgiving we're gonna continue with my oscar talk if it doesn't get best picture i think for sure it will get like a screenplay nomination i think it's a strong contender to possibly get a best picture nominee we'll see if you see knives out let me know down below what you guys thought about it and do you think it's a possible contender for a best picture nominee let me know down below oh and one last thing before i do let you guys go um just kind of like a pre-warning for my very um like squeamish uh viewers out there on this character it has a very tough timeline she, she just can't do it um when she does lie she does vomit so it is like full-on projectile vomiting with like chunks on what she ate i just don't want you guys to like dislike this movie because of that so lying wait a moment and then just kind of avert your eyes you're you're gonna hear it but you know just mm, okay so with that said before you guys click out of this video don't forget to hit a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye